What's up everyone, it's Winstoney coming back to you guys with a brand new video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified of all of my new posts. Today I wanted to come to you guys and give you guys top five dreadlock hairstyles that's trending right now. Someone left a comment in one of my other top five hairstyle videos and said that I didn't give any dreadlock styles. So I decided to do a whole video on just dreadlock hair and um, just different styles and trends that's going on with different dreadlocks. Since the pandemic last year a lot of people have been growing their hair out especially you know since barbershops and things were closed last year people were growing their hair out and some people kept their hair grown out and they didn't cut it they started to like it and then some people from there you know wanted to just get dreads with their fully grown hair and so now i'm going to give you guys the top five styles that um I see people are wearing with dreads, just different styles that, that are trending right now. Jumping right into it, the first style I'm showing you is gonna be called dreads with an undercut. So this is where you're rocking the dreads at the top of your head and the sides and back of your hair are cut down. And it's basically a high top into a fade with dreads, pretty much. If you're starting from scratch, you would first get the fade and then dread your hair. It looks like you got twists or coils first and then he dreaded it from there but the um messy dreads look work really good with this hairstyle um just because it all just looks natural the second style i'm going to show you guys it's kind of similar to the first style it's dreads at the top and faded on the sides and so these dreads are blonde this style comes down lower in the back to where it would almost be a mohawk um, and he has a surgical cut going around his head, disconnecting the dreads from his fade. So that style is a low fade. So pretty much to get this hairstyle, you just have to get a low fade with a surgical cut going around your head and dye your dreads blonde, obviously, like he has in the picture. The blonde starts to look really nice on the dreads um, when the dreads start to grow out more and then they start becoming blonde tips and that's what his is doing right now so it starts to look really nice when they become tips and it just looks really cool on to the the third hairstyle the third dread hairstyle is going to be a mohawk with red tips now these actually look like coils instead of dreads but i'm just going to assume that he wants them to form into dreads they go all the way down to the back of his head and his fade look almost like a burst fade so yeah you would get a burst fade with dreads at the top and coming down almost like a mohawk. And if you didn't want to get dreads with this, you can also get coils coils with this because, you know, obviously this looks good with coils too. Of course, the red in it really makes it just pop even more, so. Okay, so the fourth hairstyle is going to be, um, this one is just like dreads with a side ponytail. Um, this is a style I've actually started to see a lot more. Um, I see some guys wearing it with all of the dreads in the ponytail or just some of them if it's not long enough. The fifth and final hairstyle I'm gonna show you guys today um, for dreadlocks is twists actually turned into dreads. This style is pretty much how you start dreading your hair. You'll start dreading your hair off like this. Um, if That's of course if you're not gonna do the freeform method or if you're not doing um, interlock dreads, which is another well, yeah, that's, it's another popular dread hairstyle look. The thing about interlock dreads are is, you know, usually with, with regular dreads like this with the twists, when you get twists like this and they form into dreads, it's a lot easier to, if you don't want dreads, in, if they're already like locked, if you don't want dreads anymore, it's a lot easier to take your hair out of this. But if you get interlock dreads, it's a lot more difficult to, um, you know, just kind of comb your hair out or just revert your hair back to just like loose hair because your hair is like locked in together and once once it dreads like that it's it's a lot more difficult like you there's a lot more cutting involved you might have to you're gonna have to cut a lot in order to get your hair back to like just loose anyways this would be the foundation of doing dreads without like you know any special haircut or style you would you would twist them onto your scalp like that and have them go back that's pretty much like the standard but even with just doing dreads without a special haircut you can always um you know get like blonde tips or red tips um when they get longer you can also switch it up to curly dreads or just rock them in different hairstyles like dreads and buns so there's so many different things you can do with dreads even if you don't get like a haircut with it so um you know just starting off with something simple and then just trying to figure out what you want to do with it is also a great option if you just want like a different 
style of dreads. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you guys like this video, if you guys like any of those hairstyles, you can go ahead and um, click this like button. Um, let me know if you guys are gonna get any of these uh, dread hairstyles. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.